My name is Austin Benner. I was born and raised in a Christian Mennonite church. Growing up for me it was a challenge because there I was taught to lose your salvation and they also taught they are the one true church. Knowing this, I prayed every night so I was sure I was saved. About eight years ago, God led my dad to leave the Mennonites and go somewhere else. We knew about WBC and attended a Sunday and have been coming ever since. A few years after coming to WBC, I joined a small group study. This is where everything changed for me. This study was on Romans. <clears throat> the verses that stuck out to me were Romans 8, 1 and, 1 and 2, and Romans 8, 14. Romans 8, 1 and 2 says, Therefore there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, because through Christ Jesus, the law of the Spirit who gives you life has set you free from the law of sin and death. In Romans 8, 14, for those who are led by the Spirit of God are the children of God. The Spirit you received does not make you slaves so that you live in fear again. Rather, the Spirit you received brought about your adoption to sonship. Those verses were very encouraging to me because I knew I was forgiven and once I'm his, I'm his. I knew I should get baptized because it's commanded in Matthew and Mark. I struggled with the thought of going in front of everyone and saying, I'm born again, the fact that I still sinned and had questions and doubt. As time went on, I witnessed other baptisms and testimonies. I realized these are lies and excuses I keep telling myself. A couple months back, we had a great discussion about baptism on the way to a job site. In that discussion, my own co-worker said, baptism itself is actually a pretty simple command from Christ. The union with God is profound, but the action we, but in action, we just have to publicly profess and get wet. If we are struggling to be obedient with that one, I think we will have a much harder time obeying the ones that cost us substantial. This discussion freed up all those lies I was telling myself, and that's why I'm standing here today. That's great, Austin. Thank you for taking this step of courage and uh, getting wet here. Uh, I think the verse that the elders chose for you fits very well with what you just shared, um, that something changed in you and there's, there's something new there. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old has gone. The new is here. And this baptism symbolizes that, that you are a new creation in Christ. And so it's based on that confession of faith in Christ Jesus. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.